Hi, nobodies. Take number four. Number three was looking good till I went TMI. <laughs> I am such a cold and detached person. So, let me tell you about me and how to get the truth out of me. If you ask me a direct question, I will answer it. Lying is easy for me in most cases. I can lie. I choose not to. This is, you know, most of the time I have no reason to lie. I'm not up to bullshit, you know, like I'll lie if it's information, like I'll lie by omission and I will lie when I, when I know like the truth needs to be softened up. Uh, you know, but direct questions, even when I am ashamed of the answer, even when I'm like, I could lie. And they couldn't prove I'm lying. I still can't lie when asked a direct question. I won't do it. So, there's wants and needs. And I separate the two. You know, do I need to go to Goodwill? No, I never need to. And, and even, even the way my brain justifies things of, I need to shop because I feel down and shopping would make me feel good. It's still not a need. It's a want. And... I will not follow up with, no, I don't need to, but I want to really, really bad. Like, really bad. Like, all-consuming want. <laughs> if they say, do you need to? No, I don't need to. And I feel bad. And that's the thing, you know, like, I'll be like, why'd they have to say need? Because, <laughs> see, I'll do things for people. Like, like, I'll say, do you want me to do this for you? And actually, they don't even have to ask. I'm, I'm typically somebody who sees something that needs to be done, and I'll do it. Or something that, hey, you know, they're, they said they were going to do that, but I know that they don't want to do that or they got stuff to do. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So today I had my appointment, went to that, and I thought it was going to be something like that would help me out like today or next week. No, 30 days to see if I'm eligible for the program. Looks promising though. So, I mean, the bright side is that I got to meet with somebody. I got to be out in the world today a little bit. So, when we were done, I had to wait on my ride. My ride had an appointment after me at another place further down the road. And it was raining and stuff. And so I sat there and waited, and, and while I was waiting, I made a couple of phone calls, dealt with a couple of things, um, and it got to be like four o'clock, and this lady comes from the back, and she says, um, we close at 4.30, are you sure your ride's coming? Because cause what if he's not here by 4.30? And I said, well, if he's not here by 4.30, I'll just wait outside. It's no big deal. You know, I don't sweat shit. You know, it's not, not worth any. I mean, I was like, it's not like, it's not like my roommate is doing bullshit. He was working towards, you know, what he needs to do. You know, he, he was at a different 
government agency. You know, I mean, he wasn't, you know, just like hanging out with friends and I couldn't get a hold of him. And I'm like, well, what the fuck is he doing? Where's he at? You know, no, he had something to do. And I was cool with that. And I had told him I'd be cool with waiting. And the office was a very chill place. I mean, the second I was in there, I was like, okay, I can deal with this. You know, they're, they're very much a get them in, get them out type of place. It's not like DHS where you might have like a whole family come in and it's like, wow, this is loud. No, it was a quiet place. The ambiance was right. I was good. So when the lady said that to me, you know, she's like, well, I don't feel right just leaving you out there by yourself. Maybe some people will stay a little longer. Well, I am not going to be that person that somebody is staying around for because they feel like, oh, I don't want to leave them by themselves. I mean, that's a sweet thing. It is. It's it. I would do that. I would totally like sit and wait with somebody for their ride. Hell, I'd probably offer them a ride. That would be me saying, well, where do you stay at? Or where is, you know, is your ride at a place? You know, like, where are they at? Can I take you to them? You know, like I, I legit would have given them a ride probably. Um, but I'm not going to be that charity case. I got two perfectly good feet and legs is 50 degrees outside wasn't pouring down rain and even if it was I may be sweet but I don't melt I am dryable just as I am washable I am not messed up about getting grease or dirt on me never was because I am washable and I am dryable you know it's not cold and I said well where can I go there were two eateries both an equal distance apart. About 15 minute walk, 16 minute walk. I could have gotten a sub or a burger. Both places never eaten at, but I've passed them and thought I'd like to try them. Never heard of those places. So I was like, I was like, okay, I'm going to go walk in. No big deal. Texted my, my roommate, hey, I'm walking to this place. And started walking. And, like, I ain't messed up about the rain. Do I want, do I typically like to walk in the rain? Not really. But I like water. I'm an earth sign, if that means anything. And as an earth sign, I like my feet being on the ground. And I like water. It calms me. So I'm walking and it's not such a bad day. I'm getting my exercise. And at the end of it is a burger, some fries, maybe a shake. Maybe they got cake. Who knows? I've never been to the place. Didn't even bother looking at the website to see what they've got on the menu. I was just going to be surprised. You know, so I'm like, hey, you know, and I'm, and I'm, I'm actually walking down a street checking out the scenery. You know, I am completely in cool mode. My roommates, my roommate showed up before I made it to where I was going. I don't know how close I was. I was probably pretty close. I don't know. But my roommate showed up and they're just like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, I didn't know it was going to take so long. You know, and I'm like, I ain't mad. <laughs> you know, I'm not mad. I don't get mad about things like that. You know, sometimes you can't be, you know, sometimes things take longer than they're supposed to. It's no big deal. It's not. I have been left in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night. Okay, we're talking a good 20 miles from a fucking payphone before cell phones were a thing. Left. In the middle of fucking nowhere. Okay. Walking down a busy, walking down the sidewalk on a busy street 
in Illyria, no big fucking deal. And especially since you got cell phones, you got Uber, you got Lyft. Come on. <laughs> what have I got to be pissed off about? This isn't like he just dropped me off there and said, find your own way home. <laughs> you know? No. So, I mean, it's like, even if I would have had to walk home, I don't, it would have just taken me all night. <laughs> no big deal. You know? I mean, but I've got money. I could have, I would have ordered a lift. Not a thing. But my my roommate thinks a lot of things will make me mad. He he thinks, I, I think he's expecting me to blow my top about things. And I don't. I mean, the thing is, with me, when somebody does something that would typically make someone else mad, a person who's not an emotional retard, the things that make that person mad, I'm going to hear it. And chances are, I'm going to get quiet. When I'm quiet, there's only a couple of explanations for that. I'm either listening and processing, or I'm wondering what I did wrong. I don't get mad at people really it takes a lot to get me mad and at that point I'm crying so like the typical shit that gets girls pissed off like like actually pissed off like I'll say I'm pissed about something but it's it's just mildly irritated um but the stuff that normally pisses girls off you know like the jealousy and like and 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 just the the bullshit stuff i i am a quiet borderline i am an introvert i am an infj personality type i don't blow up at people i wonder what i did wrong because to me, I'm always guilty, no matter how, and I, and I can tell myself over and over, you've done nothing wrong. You, you've done everything right. You don't deserve this. You know, like I can tell myself this and I still don't get mad. I don't get mad that they're making me question, have I not done enough? You know, do, do I need to do more? You know, they're making me question. I should be mad. I should blow up at a person for that. I should blow up at a person for making me feel, me feel small. But growing up with somebody who had a chip on their shoulder and would frequently blow up, I, I can't do it because I saw the overreaction. I would see the exchange and see the, well, well, mom, I don't think they meant that like that. I think you are completely misunderstanding what is going on. And to me, she looked like an idiot. Every time she would blow up about something, she would look like an idiot because she misread the situation. So anytime somebody does something and I'm thinking they mean something that they may not mean, or, or like if I feel like, hey, they're calling me stupid or they're calling me cold or emotionless or weak or, or whatever else they might call me, you know, I... I can't blow up about it. I have to think about it. And even once I think about it, I might get mad for a minute, but not at, I will not blow up at them because people hurt people. It's not always intentional. I mean, by all means, when you figure out that somebody has intentionally hurt you, feel free to, <laughs> 
you know, feel free to go back and th- I, I won't do that either. I'll be like, man, why didn't I fucking say something? I will think of like a million things I should have fucking said. And normally they're, they're smart ass, really smart ass things and, or really like, hmm, he's not smart enough to do, you know, like I'm just, I don't know. It's like stuff that goes over their head. And then it's like, I know I insulted them, and they don't. <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> that that kind of, whenever, whenever something's a joke to me, and the other person doesn't know about it, and other people get it, and they don't, that is like the funniest thing for me. It's a gift that keeps on giving. But I don't blow up at people, and what people should be asking me you know because they're because they'll say are you mad at me what they should be asking is have I upset you you know because then I can't lie about it because if they say are you mad at me I'll say why would I be mad at you you know what, what have you done You know, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm mad at myself. I'm wondering what I did. You know, I'm like feeling guilty. And I have no idea what I feel guilty for. Um, But want and need. God, I wanted a fucking burger to go to Walmart. I wanted that. Legitimately wanted But that's not what I was asked. And I am not an assertive person. Unless I need something. Because my priorities are straight. Some people might think my priorities aren't straight, but they are. I mean, I do stuff that I want to. And sometimes people don't like that and they'll call that selfish. Everybody does quote unquote selfish shit. Uh, But it's something they feel that they need to do. But in all actuality, you just want to. Because you need to do all kinds of things. But most of us, like anything you enjoy is normally something you want to do. So, I don't need to go to Walmart. But I don't want to eat a frozen burrito. (laughs) I want a fucking burger. But I won't ask for what I want because I don't want to be that person who... It's like, if I ask for things... I always feel like if I ask for one thing... I might ask for the tiniest little thing. And if you ask somebody on a day when they feel like they've got so much to do, like they feel overwhelmed, I always worry that they're going to feel like I'm always asking them for things. Because that's kind of how it gets on those days. If you feel overwhelmed, you know, like if, if you're leaving work, And you just want to go home, get a bath, get under the covers, and binge some Netflix. That's all you want to do. And then somebody calls you and says, hey, can you pick up milk on the way home? You're just like, man, they're always fucking bugging me to pick shit up on the way home. You get irritated. I don't want to be that irritation. Even though in that particular scenario, the person calling saying, you know, pick up some milk, you probably need the milk. But on the other hand, a lot of times the person asking you to do that, they've got a vehicle too and they could run to the store and get it. But, you know, in their mind, it's, You're on your way home. You're in the car. You might be passing the place. You can run in and get it. It's not an inconvenience. 
but it's an inconvenience to you. So like when I ask for things, I worry that what I ask for is going to be an inconvenience to the person I'm asking and that they're going to somehow make their whole day being ruined about me. And I don't want that. I don't want to be the person that ruins your day or that asks for too much, you know? And I mean, that's the thing, you know, even if you never ask anybody for anything, if you ask them for something on the wrong fucking day, they are not going to sit there and go, well, you know what? They never asked me for shit. You know why? Because people tend to be, what's the word? Self-absorbed. <laughs> they don't think like that. They don't think, well, this person never asks me. You know, it's like my dad. When he was alive, if my dad called me and asked for anything, I would go out of my way to get it for him. Because A, my dad never asked for anything. And B, if I asked my dad for something, he'd do it. He would show up. So my thought process was always, he'd do it for me. I'm going to do it for him. Not going to bitch. Not going to... It was... I'm not going to piddle fart around, you know. I'm going to get right to it and take care of it, you know. But, but, you know, they always say, the world does not think like you. So I can't expect for somebody to say to themselves, well, she never does ask me for anything. She never asks for much. No. They're just thinking about the inconvenience of, the inconvenience or convenience of this specific moment. They're not going to think, would they do it for me? And most of the time, like when somebody asked me for something, it, it wasn't even about, would they do it for me? Because most of the time I know that they wouldn't, you know, I mean, there, there are people in my life who I'd bend over backwards for. And I know that when I need them to do certain things, they would not do them for me. That didn't stop me from doing things for them because two wrongs don't make a right and I am who I am. So people who don't watch me and the people who do, um, ask your loved ones. Want. You know, think about want with them. You know, especially if there's somebody who is always like, oh, it can wait. It's no big deal. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. You know, um, if they do that in such a way that is not meant to inspire guilt, you know, if they're always just like, oh, it's no big deal. I can do it another day. Ask them, want. Do you want this? Do you want that? Don't ask them need because chances are that's the type of person who's also going to think of need as, do I need? No. And they're going to hate themselves for not being assertive. So sometimes you got to take it out of their hands and just do things for them. Just, just do things for them. They'll appreciate it. And you will become, if you're their kid, you'll be like their number one kid. Hint, hint. <laughs> um, I'm going to go now. Uh, not to have a burrito because I'm not hungry anymore. Because it's not a fucking burger. I'm going to go. And my night is going to be really awesome. Because I'm going to make it so. You can make it so too. Because you know what? The best way to ensure a totally awesome night. Is to spend it in your own company. 
Because, I mean, you got serious problems if you fuck if you fuck yourself up. Okay? Like, if you can't get along with you, you got problems. I have the best time hanging out with myself. I do not piss me off. <laughs> I give myself what I want, what I need. And I have a few giggles here and there. We have a lot of fun. Me, myself, and I. So, um, as I always say, every moment is an opportunity to turn things around. You can have a good day, even if shit happens. That's universal, man. Shit. The universal rule of shit happens. How you handle it can make a difference. Not just to you, but to everyone around you. And remember, your kids are watching everything. So, I hope you had a great day and I hope you have a great night. 